Hello there, welcome to Saber Chill Gaming, where we always take the high ground, and welcome to our weekly roundup of the gaming news. And first of all, we're having a little look at some news that has slipped out about Zelda's Breath of the Wild 2, and it's been a long time since we've had any news on this. But one thing that has come out is one of the voice actors who's recording lines for Derek is also recording lines for one of Derek's ancestors, with a role he is described as much more serious. This has led to some speculation that this will be much more than just a flashback, and maybe time travel will be involved. Let's just hope to get some more news soon. Our next piece of news is about the Star Wars games Rogue Squadron, something that had been quite popular on numerous Nintendo consoles in the past. And apparently, one of the directors behind this, Julian Egbert, has spoken about what he would like to see in a port of this game over on the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo and Sony consoles have been seeing a barrage of old Star Wars games being moved over onto these consoles, so the idea of a new port of Rogue Squadron doesn't seem so far-fetched. Sadly, our next piece of news is to dispel the rumour that Sony had brought someone on board to work on a PS3 emulator. The man in question, Garrett Fredley, has denied this. However, he has said that whilst this isn't why he was brought on board, his full role is yet to be decided, so maybe our hopes aren't entirely dashed just yet. And up next is a public service announcement for Destiny 2 players. For anyone who doesn't already know, we are back to the Guardian Games, the annual event in which Warlock, Hunter and Titan subclasses compete against each other by earning medals of different point value to see which class is the best. Who will hold the trophy this year? Well, Hunters are defending it from last year, but this year my money's on the Warlocks finally taking the top spot. No bias at all. I, I certainly have no preference. Mm. Our last piece of news today is regarding Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order 2. And whilst expected, it's been officially announced that the game will be new gen console only, with it not being released until 2023. There's also been a strange rumour that the words Fallen Order have been dropped from the title. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and comment down below, and feel free to subscribe here on YouTube or over on TikTok and Instagram.